Praise the Lord. Amen. So rewarding times have come. Time of increase all around. Times of reward. So, and the Lord is He's in his business. It's not my business. Praise the Lord. It's not my business. It's the Lord's business. For those of us that were around on Wednesday, you know, I told you, uh, please don't miss this month's um, prayer conference. So, you know, I said something. That the three speakers will come. The Lord gave me their names. He changed the topic and he gave the speakers What's the topic? Living at the gates of prophecy. Not staying. You can stay and not live. A lot of people are alive but are not living. Praise the Lord. So living at the gates of prophecy. So Pastor T is confirmed. I had a good time with him yesterday. Pastor K is confirmed. I had a good time with him too. Pastor Victor Lord of him will be confirmed today. No, tomorrow in the name of Jesus. I know. So, you see, unless the Lord is not in the business of his people, confirmed. Remember, Pastor K had to change his plans. He has to change. He's traveling out that weekend. He said he's canceling it. So God is in that business. Please tell your friends who are who are struggling. Hallelujah. Come. The last weekend of September. We are going to pray and going to push hard in the name of Jesus. So, and we have never had it before that in any of our prayer meetings that, and I think this thing started last week Sunday. Praise God that the three of us ministered. Pastor Sam ministered, Pastor Wilson ministered, and the three of us were on this altar on Sunday. I mean, I've never had it good in the King's Court. Hallelujah. So, I mean, that was the beginning of something that I was not seeing. So, God wants the three generals of the province to come to minister. Amen. Living at the gates of all prophecy. When the flyers come out, please share it on your social media handles. Invite your friends. If they can't come physically, thank God for Facebook. Thank God for YouTube. These things are always there on the internet. You can go back to revisit and watch. Praise the Lord. So tell your families, tell your friends. Yeah, living at the gates of prophecy. There's something God is saying to us that he wants us to hear. Praise the Lord. So this morning, I will be sharing rewarding times, man. And rewarding times have come. Rewarding times have come. Times of increase, time of harvest have come. And all these times don't just come like that until we wrestle in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Spirit, soul, and body going forward from this month will be better in Jesus' name. For every effort, every work done, the Lord will step in to bring about an increase. Um, one thing I know and I saw in the scriptures, you know, um, we relate to Jesus as our Lord and Savior, as our provider, also is the Lord of increase. Hallelujah. He's the Lord what? The Lord of increase. I mean, the um, Yoruba will say that, Ek bilur kotunje. that means invite him, call him by the name he is. So, if, if it's Jehovah Jireh, if you, need, if you need something, if you need provision, you, you call him his name, you know. If you call him Jehovah Jireh, his head. So, so I mean, this, this guy knows, he knows me as Jireh. I remember one day, I mean, for, there was a time that when we were in the throne room, we invited um, Reverend Adik Boye. And he said he was in one of those streets abroad. And somebody called him by his native name. Do you understand? So that person that called me knows me to my roots. He said he had to stop because he doesn't know that person. There, there, there are ways we need to relate to God that makes him to do what? To look at us twice. 
You know, if I, I, I have so many nicknames, kind of, by moments. If somebody calls me Olukundi, if I hear that name, and that person knows me from my secondary school, I will stop. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's, I will stop. But this guy knows me. So when Bartimaeus called Jesus, Jesus, son of David, he knows him to his what? Roots. He had to stop. He's the Lord of what? Increase. He's the Lord of increase. So if we have been toiling, walking, and there's no result, call him. You are the Lord of increase. Come into this business. So when you invite him into the business, as a Lord of increase, the business grows. It is an abnormal aberration. It's normal for a child of God to walk and there is no empirical evidence of increase. First Corinthians chapter 3 and 6, he said, I planted, Apollos did what? Watered. But God caused it to grow. It was God who made it. So we can be doing efforts, putting efforts, and it is dead. Hallelujah. Haven't you seen people plant seed and the seed don't grow? It is God that made it. Is the cause. Is the Lord of increase. So that you put a seed that you brought in an effort that we've been praying since doesn't mean that prayers will be answered. Doesn't mean that work will be blessed until the Lord what causes it to grow. The Lord of increase. Can you just pray in one minute and invite the Lord of increase into your labor? into academics, into your business, into your ministry, into all that you have been toiling, that is not enough. It is the Lord that makes it to grow. The Lord of increase. The Lord of increase. Notice my effort today. Can you pray in one minute in the mighty name of Jesus going forward in this month of September. My spiritual life will grow. As I pray more, it will grow. As I fast more, it will grow. As I study more, it will grow. As I plant more, it will grow. As I walk more, it will grow. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I talk more, it will grow. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord made it to grow. Lord, make my business to grow. Can somebody pray? Lord, make my life to grow. Make my emotions to grow. Lord, increase me psychologically. Lord, grow me emotionally. Lord, grow me financially. Lord, grow me spiritually. It is the Lord that I made it to grow. Your effort is not enough that the Lord does not come into it. I want you to pray Lord as I rise up in the morning to go to my place of work as I come here to do your work Lord cause it to grow. Lord have mercy on me today in the name of Jesus Lord cause it to grow. I'm tired oh God of no harvest. I'm tired oh God of no growth. I'm tired oh God of stagnation. Lord cause my academics to grow Lord God as I study as I go to my class and do my assignment as I do my examination Lord God God cause it to grow as I apply for jobs oh God as I think and start my business Lord God cause it to grow in the name of Jesus mercy Lord God cause it to grow growth is fast for growth is movement oh God growth is acceleration my father my God Lord cause it to grow in the mighty name of Jesus in this month of September Lord God cause it to grow in the mighty name of Jesus everything I do, every labor every effort, every toil every sweat that drops Lord from my body, Lord cause it to grow, can somebody pray Lord going forward, we are in the refreshing times though in the name of Jesus, cause my effort to grow, cause my effort to grow, cause my effort to grow as I saw in your vine yard cause it to grow as I sow in the field of mankind cause it to grow in the name of Jesus father cause it to grow mercy today in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father in Jesus name we have prayed
God expects that everything planted to grow. A tree was planted. And the owner of the vineyard came. And he did not see any fruit from the tree. And he wanted to cut it down. And the vineyard dresser said, no, my Lord, let it give it a chance. How many of us, God, has been given chance because we are not growing? He said, let us manure it again and give it another year. And let us see if it's going to grow. I want us to pray this morning. Holy Spirit, breathe on my effort. Holy Spirit of God is the spiritual fertilizer that a lot of us need. The scent of God, the water of God is the spiritual fertilizer that a lot of people need. I want you to pray and say, Holy Spirit, breathe on my work. Holy Spirit, breathe on my effort. He said, it's not by power, it's not by might. He said, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. I want somebody to to pray and say, Holy Spirit, brood on my effort. Holy Spirit, brood on my work. Holy Spirit, brood on my labor. In the mighty name of Jesus, is the spirit of quickening. Is the spirit of life. Is the spirit of quickening. That is how God will make you to grow. By His Spirit, I want you to pray. Holy Spirit, brood over my effort. You are the spirit of life. You are the life-giving spirit. Holy Spirit, brood over my work. Holy Spirit, brood over my labor. In the name of Jesus. It is not by your power. It is not by might. It is by my spirit, says the Lord. Holy Spirit brood over my life. Spirit, soul, and body. Brood over my academics. Brood over my endeavors. Brood over my journeys. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, incubate my work. Holy Spirit, incubate my work. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, incubate my work. The refreshing times have come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you heavenly father. In Jesus name we have prayed. Paul planted. Apollos watered. But God. Made it to grow. God made it to grow. And we've been talking about work. And what? Faith. If there is no work. There's nothing God will cause to grow. That is why everybody must do something. In the king's court, do something. Sell recharge card. Sell pure water. Sell egg. Sell egg. Sell bread. Do something. And you will marvel at what God will do on that something. Walk. If you don't walk, you will die. The opportunities that our eyes have not seen. Can somebody pray say, open my eyes to see. Father, open my eyes to see. Lord, this month, open my eyes to see. If you don't see, you will die. If you don't see, you will die. If you don't see, you won't grow. If you don't see, you will die. You will perish. If you don't see, you will not advance. I want you to pray. If you don't see, you won't see opportunities to take. I want you to pray in this month of refreshing. My Father, open my eyes to see and take action. In the, a lot of us have lost opportunities because we don't see. I want you to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes to see and take action. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, open my eyes to see. Kata. Opportunities are in Nigeria. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. And open my eyes to see, Lord, and injure my spirit. Activate and energize my spirit to take action. In this month, in the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of refreshing. Open my eyes to see. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Listen, that woman would have died. That widow would have died. In the same town where she was about to eat and die. She said she had what? Two sticks, small flour, and small oil. She said she's about to prepare her last meal and die. And Elisha said, go and borrow what? Vessels. So they are business. She doesn't know. In that difficult time, there, there's business opportunity. She said, go and borrow vessel. Put oil. And all the vessels were what? Filled. Not until all the vessels were filled, the oil did not stop flowing. He said, go and sell. The opportunities. But God needs to connect you. 
I want you to pray. Lord, in this month of September, Lord, that divine connection that opens doors in the mighty name of Jesus, in my ministry, in my work, in the mighty name of Jesus, there is a connection you need. There is a connection that I need. There is a man that God has prepared for you in the mighty that will just walk into your office. He will just walk into your office. He will just walk into your office to bless you. He will just walk into your family to bless you. There is a man that you need for in this same economy. People are making money. You can grow in the mighty name of Jesus. You can grow. You can make it. You can be sustained by divine encounter. You can be sustained. You can flourish. Refreshing time can visit you again. In this time, the Bible said the oil did not stop just by the reason of divine visitation. Refreshing time came to that woman. The God of Israel says there will be no there will be flour and oil. And every container was filled. I'm telling you, and they were sustained. I want to pray for somebody today that in this month of September, you will have a divine encounter. You will have a divine connection that will sustain you till the refreshing time come again. In the mighty name of Jesus, can somebody pray and say, Father, in the name of connect me. Lord, connect me. Lord, connect me. Connect me. I will not die in this season. I will not perish in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not go down in this season. This is the season that somebody's business is growing. This is the season somebody will start a trade. This woman has never sold anything before. This woman has never done any business before. But in these difficult times, she began to do business. I pray for somebody. Today, divine encounter. To open the business that you have never done before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you pray and say, Father, that work that I've never done before. By divine encounter. In the month of refreshing can somebody pray lord even ministerial work in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name connect me in jesus name we will pray who told you you can't do it this woman has never done any business before it was never written that she has done any any business before just by divine encounter she became a businesswoman and she was sustained when people were suffering, she started a business of buying and selling. Who told you you cannot start something new? Just by divine. It's a refreshing time you are going to pray. My father, Lord, align me with my destiny helper. In this month, in the mighty name of Jesus. Elijah found that woman. It was a divine arrangement. It was a divine arrangement. That business you have never handled before. Somebody's coming to your house. Somebody's coming to your office. Somebody's locating you. Somebody will see your CV. Somebody will see your academics. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we align you. It will align you. It will align you. Can you pray? In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to launch into a realm that I've never been before. I want to enter into deep waters. These shallow waters, oh God, they are too small for me. I want to go deeper. In the mighty name of Jesus, my destiny helper, Lord, that you are prepared in the month of September, that you are prepared for us in this King's Court, as individuals, as, as a family. Lord, this destiny helpers, oh God, align me in the mighty name of Jesus. Align me in the mighty name of Jesus. Who say you cannot do that business? Who say you cannot do that worker who says you cannot handle that program who says you cannot get first class who says you cannot be an extraordinary person who says you cannot break barrier this woman broke barrier she became something new who says you cannot be a high flyer in the mighty name of jesus in this month of september align me oh god with my destiny a pastor in the mighty name of jesus father align me with my destiny a pastor in the month of september refresh times have come in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray God visited her increase came it is God that makes it to grow two sticks small oil small flour became a business do you understand what I'm saying Two sticks, small flour, small oil, became what? Business. This was what was about to end their lives. And that same thing became the source of what? Business. 
what they were about to eat and die became the source of business. Why? It was God that made it to grow. Elijah on his own did not visit the woman. Remember where we're reading from in 1 Corinthians? Apollos planted Paul waters. It was God that made it to grow. So God told Elijah, find her is the source of growth. Refreshing times. I'm going to pray. One more time. God will not fall from heaven. All of us have benefited from the ministry of men. Everyone here. I don't know. I don't know. But me, I'm a beneficiary of the ministry of men. By the reason of God's proportion. God propelled them. God propelled them. It's not in man. It's God. I go to pray. Father, align me. That, you, sh- you must not miss it. You must not miss it. That person the Lord has prepared for you. Father, in this month, I don't know how God is going to do it. Align me, oh God. You need to enter. In September, you must do something big. In the ministry, you must do something big. In the service of God, you must do something big. In the service of mankind, you must do something big. Something extraordinary must happen to us in this September. In the mighty name of Jesus, your hand must do something big that you have never done before. By the reason of divine arrangement, I want you to pray father lord i need to do something big lord something big something big in the mighty name of jesus and this september must be different it's a september to remember this is the beginning of ember month the beginning of the ember month of 2023 your hand and your life must be handling something big i want you to pray by the reason of god's growth in the mighty name of jesus i'm moving out from shallow waters into deeper waters I begin to do something strange in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to begin to, I refuse to handle small. Lord, small ends today. Small ends today. Microscopic things ends today. By the reason of divine arrangement, I launch into the mega. Can somebody pray? I launch into the mega. I launch into the mega. I launch into the mega. By divine arrangement, I launch into the mega. In the service of God, I am catching catching fishes of men i am catching fishes of men my net will begin to ah can somebody pray can somebody pray lord god i begin to do mega in the mighty name of jesus i refuse small i refuse small the lord of increase can somebody call on the lord of increase the lord of increase the lord of increase is a september to remember in the name of jesus i launch into mega space i launch into mega mega space i launch into mega space is the lord of increase is the lord of increase ah father come into my business lord come into my business oh god let there be an explosion come into my ministry come into my life let there be an explosion in the mighty name of jesus the god of increase the god of increase the god of increase in the mighty name of jesus can somebody pray the god of increase visit me visit me in the mighty name of jesus father visit me you are the god of increase visit me in the mighty name of jesus i launch into mega i launch into mega in the mighty name of jesus you are the god of increase you are the god of increase in the mighty name of jesus my father i launch into the deep in the mighty name of jesus i launch into the deep in the mighty name of jesus you are the god oh god you are the god of mega in the name of jesus i launch into the deep in the name of jesus i launch into deeper waters in the mighty name of jesus i launch into deeper waters in the mighty name of jesus
in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. So, the God of increase, may He find us today at your place of nothingness, at your place of zero, at your place of zero result. May He find you today. Peter, they are finished and they were washing their nets. Please let me take care of those children. Please let me take care of them. They were washing their nets and they were about to go. Chema, put it on the screen for me. They were about to go and they were washing their nets and Jesus noticed that there's a boat. Two boats. Shagun shared it on Sunday, on Wednesday. Two boats. And he took the one of Simon Peter. Isn't that strange? Isn't that strange? It's all of them. None caught. None caught. But grace found Peter's boat. Mercy found Peter's boat. And he said, push me small. He pushed him. Grace found him. At the point of nothingness. At the point of zero. You will not be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Lives are connected to your lives. So Peter that went home. Told his wife. I'm coming with fish. And they were expecting. Eh? And the wife was telling the children, that is coming with fish. Not only fish, it's coming with money. Because when they catch fish, they sell some, they take some home. And there was no fish, there was no money, the school fees to be paid. But mercy found Peter. The God of increase came. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to me. The God of increase created time and season. He created the sun. He created the moon for times and what? Season. So time and season are subject to him. God will do whatever he wants to do at any time, at any hour, any howly. It is for man to catch fish in the night. It is for God to catch fish in the morning. As long as he desires it, nothing can stop him. Not even time. He told him, cast your net at this side. He said, we have toiled all night. This September, will be moving with the God of increase. Yeah. It's refreshing time. If God did not permit it that Peter was disgraced, he will not permit it that you will be disgraced. Yeah. And the Bible said, The place he pushed the boat, they must have trekked there. Do you understand? They trekked, they just pushed him small. They did not go into the sea. It is either that, that same place. There is a deeper place where you are. You see where you are doing that your business? There is a deeper, there is a deeper business. That place that that woman was doing two sticks and she, there is business in that town. There is business. There is business. Deeper business. Mega business. Mega ministry. Mega anointing. It's still in that same place. Say, so, launch into the deep. Go deeper. See, this place is deeper. I told us, we prayed the other time, Lord, open my eyes. He's the God of increase. 
Hallelujah. And the Bible said their nets began to break. Why? The God of increase stepped into zero. He now made zero to be infinity zero. And the nets began to break. So they couldn't carry the hall. They now beckoned on to other guys. They said, come. And the Bible said their boats began to what? Sink. How you are going to pray? Father, help me. God of increase. Step into my life. Step into my life. Step into my life. I mean, the, the completeness of blessing must happen to us. In this month, that you will be blessed and you'll be a source of blessing. That you will be blessed and you become a source of blessing. Lord, make me a completeness of blessing. That my boats will begin to sink. That my nets will begin to break. Is the God of increase. Lord, make my academics, oh God. You can change my academic result. You can pray as a student and the God of increase will give you a memory that you have never gotten before. That you will study small and the Lord will increase, he will increase and expand your understanding. And your understanding will begin to bust the head of your lecturers. Your results, your answers will begin to bust the brains of your professors. Why the God of increase has stepped into your academics. The God of increase has stepped into your material life. The God of increase has stepped into your emotional life. The God of increase has stepped into your work. I want you to pray. Lord, let this net break. By the reason of your direction, I want you to pray today and say, Father, Lord, show me that place. Show me the deeper place. Take me to the deeper place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, this zero, oh God, must be hero. Lord, this zero must become a a hero. This zero man must become a hero. In my generation, this zero man must become a hero. In the mighty name of Jesus, this victor, this villain will become a victor. This defeated man will become a champion. This defeated foe will become a champion. Can somebody pray and say, Father, oh my God, increase me. You are the God of increase. Stay into my matter. Refreshing time has come. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Listen to me. This September going forward is the beginning of ember months you have never seen in your life. God of increase. He found is the one that made it to do what? Grow. So it can be zero. God does not care. Zero. They were washing it. No fish. About to go home. And the God of increase came. The God of increase came. He refused them being defeated. He refused. You see, it's, it's a sorry state. When you have children and they're asking you, mommy, what do we eat? And there's no food in the house. It's, a, it's, it's the most sorry state that you cannot meet I mean, nutri I'm not talking about clothes. You see, children can wear one clothes. We've seen children that are poverty stricken. They will wear the clothes. It's torn. It's okay. They can wear that one clothes for one week. But when it comes to food, food, they can, they can just wear that clothes with no pants. It's okay. With no shoes. It's okay. No, no bathing. It's okay. But food is non-negotiable. Praise the Lord. It's, it's, it's a sorry state that any parent can find him or herself not to put food on the table. And Peter was about to become that. And God stepped in. We are going to pray. Father, let me not be ashamed. God of increase, let me not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed. Can you pray in the name of Jesus? Let me not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed. At the point of meeting needs, let me not be ashamed. At the point of meeting needs, let me not be defeated. At the point of responsibility, let me not be ashamed. At the point of my responsibility, let me not be ashamed. At the point of my responsibility, oh God of increase, can you pray? Let me not be ashamed. 
in the mighty name of Jesus at the point of my contribution where my contribution is needed where my quota is needed let me not be ashamed may I not come empty handed my father as a father as a mother as a son as a daughter my father as a worker in the church when it comes to the point of responsibility when it points to the point where I will contribute my quota in the body of Christ may I not come empty handed oh my father mercy on me let me not be ashamed in the name of Jesus father let me not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus may mercy find me may grace find me let me not be ashamed Lord at the point of oh God where my quota is needed where my contribution is needed I will not scratch my head I will not be scratching my pocket I will not be scratching my heart looking for what to contribute when it comes oh God in the family circle amongst my peers as a father as a husband Lord God at the place of responsibility let me not be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus can somebody pray this is the time of refreshing I will not be found wanting 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 as a student in my academics when I should answer my answer and my scripts I will not be ashamed I will answer well in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus name we are praying who will not be ashamed in Jesus name mercy found him the God of increase found him found him a lot of people don't go home when it comes to December not that they don't love to go to the village the status has not changed 365 days they remain the same The people you saw last year were not the same up here. Their level has changed. And you told them, I'm believing for something huge. The huge did not huge. So you stayed. 365 days. Oh boy, we're not see you for a village. What happened now? I six more. It's not sickness. It's financial sickness. You love to be there. Because the God of increase has not found you. If you have a child and the child is not even growing, physically is a problem. So you see, the Bible said of Jesus, and the boy grew in stature. Stature is what we see. He grew in wisdom internally. Complete growth was with Jesus. So for 365 days, Somebody remained the same. See, who told you that God cannot visit you December 31st? If he visited Peter at point zero. Peter was about to go home with his head bent. Let me tell you how these fishermen fish. You, know, you, think, you think they just go and come. No, they would have prepared their net with great effort. It's great to, to go fishing. It's great effort to. They will look for baits, prepare nets, then they will now go far the deep that they went for overnight in the morning. Jesus showed them. They will go far into the sea just to get a great haul. And all those efforts amounted to what? Nothing. But mercy found him. The most important thing, brethren, is work. Let's find something to do. Grace will not do anything on nothing. Grace will do something on something. Jesus visited his own people. And they did not have faith. He was marveled. The heaven was ready. But man had nothing to receive the heavens. And the Bible said he did few. Amongst his own what? People. 
brethren, walk. Sir, continue the walk. The Lord of Weakness visited him. See, brethren, it's refreshing time. And we must know how to deal with the Lord. We must know how to pray to him. We must know how to engage him. You understand what I'm saying? Even in your prayer, see, do you think it's all prayer that I answered? There's some prayer God leave those ones. No, it's not to me. That's why we come boldly to the throne of grace, requesting for what? Mercy. It's not a prayer. It's not. Request for mercy. That even our prayer will be answered. We need mercy. Mercy. You will not be ashamed in Jesus' name. Yeah. When it comes for you, 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 at the point of quota contribution, you will not go empty handed. Do you understand what I'm saying? When it is time for contribution, Brother Zion, say a day but skip. It is for it is forbidden in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, say it says skip. Nobody say you know day. You day. You just say pass. <laughs> God forbid it. The Lord of increase will visit you. Amen. It's refreshing time when we engage God. Come with your walk. Come, do something. I will do something. Not for now. So I'm just trying to put some proposal together. You've been putting it together since January. You've been putting the proposal together since January. Then you go and meet your friends. Say, My guy, you know, can, I, can I get 10k there? I'm trying to put something together. You collect from this one in January. I come to Amara. February. I'm trying to put something together. Will you put together till you die? Some people are putting together. Children of God. Big English. Folder everywhere. Say, I'm, I'm trying to work on my, my handle. My social media handle. <laughs> you will suffer. Stop giving those people. Stop giving them. Sister Linda, stop giving. Any sister will come to your new brother. See, we are putting something together. <laughs> they are dangerous people. <laughs> <laughs> those things they are putting together will never come together because there's nothing they are putting together everything is lyrics it's lyrics they are giving you now and you, you know the way the guy comes now and you will be moved you give him 20k I say, God, God bless you put it together walk engage God with your walk see listen to me God blesses the work of men The reward of work is not a respect of Christianity. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Japanese don't know God. Mm. They work. Mm. Not only do they work, they work well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not only do they work well, they monitor their work mm. and put improvement procedure on the work. So that is why the Honda of 1980 is not the, the same Honda of 2000. Yes, you can see improvements on products. They are not Christians. Mm. They are not Ababa. They are not Shobobo. Mm. They don't go to redemption camp. Mm. Redemption camp is in Nigeria. We don't have what Japan has. Mm. Walk! Walk! Mm. When God sees your walk, he blesses it. Say, these guys are serious. They, they have my nature. They are my nature. It's the nature of God. The nature of God is in every man on earth. It's the nature of God. I put something together. I'm trying to put something together. Let it stop. <laughs> Today may not chop you again. If anybody comes here, I'm putting, go, and, go and do the chat card. Be putting it together as you are selling the chat card. God will find you there. Walk. Chinese are walking. 
Nigeria was better than UAE in 1978. Go and Google it. Google, Google UAE 1978. Google Lagos in 1978. Google UAE 2000. Don't come to 2023. It's too much. Google UAE in 2000. Google Lagos in 2023. Walk. Hmm? Japan's train is faster than, is the fastest plane, bullet train. It's work. So you can live in Nakazaki and be working in Yokohama. Do you understand? Like 500 kilometers, one hour you are there. Pew, pew, you are there. So there is no, no overpopulation. Everybody wants to come to Abuja because, you know, to go to Maraba, you will die. When it falls, you will die. Just Maraba here. When there is no traffic, go to, when it's 11 p.m., enter your car to go to Maraba from my house, it'll be like 20 minutes. From AYU to Maraba, when there's it's like five minutes. It's like five minutes. So something is wrong with our head. Walk! Government, bad work. Followers, bad work. But God, do something for us. And God said, do something for yourself. We know they hear. God is just talking to us. We are praying, yes, he's answering. And boy, he's talking. He said, do something for yourself. This is how I bless men. By their work. Not by their prayer. By their what? Work. Engage God with your work. Brethren, engage their spiritual work. Engage God with it. There's physical work. Engage God with it. All endeavors, all effort. Engage work. He's the one that makes it to grow. He's the one. Do you know the problem with us? Our work is bad work. Even the work we do is bad. Bad work. You can testify now. You're a public servant. Resumption time, civil service rule is what time? Eight. I was there. But we resume like nine, ten. By two, we are out. Even if we resume early, it's because we wanted to go and say Kunu and Akaram Bons. Yeah. Bad work. And you want the Lord to bless you. And you want the God of increase to visit you. When your work already is killed. It's crooked. Crooked. The first time will not come. So we need to change our ways. Change our mentality. I remember in part one, one of our lecturers, one Indian man, I can't remember, was from Asia. He said he went to that time that they were doing... Um, you know, you snap passport and you have negative. You know, this long negative. So the guy did, he took the passport. So he went to collect, <laughs> he went to collect the pictures, the passport photographs. Ah, so the man has said, the Indian man looked at it. He was telling us that something is wrong with Nigerians. So he brought out the passport and look at the passport. <laughs> he said, this is not me. The guy said, it's you. See, I, I have two eyes complete now. <laughs> so, <laughs> no happened. The guy did not clean the negative very well. So there was a speck of dirt on the negative. Unfortunately, that speck was on the eye of the man. So by the time the guy developed it, you know, so the eye lens that ought to be black now became white. <laughs> so the man, one eye is black. The other, you know what the guy told him? He said, everybody that sees it will know that it's you. You can manage it. <laughs> Haven't you had that thing before? Somebody that you gave work, you tell you, ah, okay, you can use it like that now. Yeah. It happened to you? Yeah. You can use it like that. So, we, are not a, we are not a perfection seeking people. <clears throat> No, we are not a good seeking people. We are, we are just an okay people. That's not God. When God saw the work of your hands, in the majesty of all he created, in Psalm 8, 
in the majesty and splendor that we are still trying. God did not say it's better. God said it's good. You see, the standard of God of measurement is too high. Do you understand what I'm saying? See the heavens. See everything that God created and God called it what? But David said what? This is excellent. It is beyond. But God said, you see, this thing that is doing you big, to me, is a small thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? He said, who is man? Who is man that you are mindful of him? When I imagine all the heavens that you have created, the stars, the every put in food in heaven, you will be seeing how David was qualifying the work of God. Eh? The heavens, the everything, and God called it what? Good. God's standard is very high. Very high. We are just a manage it like that, people. God cannot bless a manage it like that result. That's why our buildings are collapsing. Hmm? Our patients are dying. You are in a program. When Bill Clinton came here, Nepa took lights in Transcorp. Manage it like, like that. That's not good. So the work must be good. In the eyes of God by standard. So when God says this is good, Man is saying it is excellent. Man is saying it is glorious. Man is saying it is wonderful. God is saying it is good. When God said thou good and faithful servant, man is saying that guy is excellent. That guy is excellent. Work. Somebody say work. Walk, 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 man. That's the problem. We are not walking. And even the work we do, we are not working well. We are not working well. It is God that makes it to do what? To grow. So this month going forward, if you are going on a low faith gauge, you need to step up your faith. Because we cannot separate, you know, we've had so much um, word on faith and work, you know, Pastor Sam came, Pastor Wilson came, you understand? So you, you can't, you can't, you can't divorce work and faith. But you see, in, in, the, in, the, in this marriage of work and faith, one is seen, one is not seen. Hallelujah. In this marriage of work and faith, one is seen. One is not seen. The one that is not seen propels what is seen to be seen. Do you understand? So when you walk, it means you are a man of faith. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you walk, it means what? You are a man of faith. That was why Paul said, show me your work and I will show you my word. Faith. Men of faith walk. Are we together? Men of faith, they do what? They don't believe. Men of faith don't do what? They don't believe. They walk. Because the evidence of their work is the belief of their faith. See, where we are believing God, you know, after you have prayed, like a gaga, ga, ga, then you now sit down and you begin to believe. Mm -mm. After you pray, then you go to do what? To work. The work is the demonstration of your belief in your faith. That this thing is going to yield something. Men of faith, don't pray and sit down and believe. No. We expect result of prayer in our work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, so if anyone... 
You'll be working on a low faith gauge level. It's time to increase that thing. Increase your level of faith, man. So when the level of faith is increased, you are talking of preparing yourself for the mega. Because you can't move from one to two and you don't see the difference. Man, you must see the difference. So in Luke 17, 5, the, the disciples, they just prayed. They said, Lord, increase our faith. Which we want to enter, we want to up our game. Lord, increase. So faith can be what? Increased. So as the faith is increasing, the work demand is increasing, then the result is also what? Increasing. It's directly proportional. Have you seen an elephant that eats small? Elephants eat big. Because even their poop is big. The baby elephant is also what? Big. Hippopotamus is big. You give hippopotamus one word. Have you seen where they are feeding hippopotamus? They don't slice watermelon for them. Have you seen hippopotamus? Do they slice watermelon? You give the hippopotamus. How? One like the thing cross it. It's big. Because hippopotamus is what? Big. So when you see somebody who is eating big, and the guy is like, he says, ah, your stature no balance your consumption. Are you with me? Then they begin to ask, where is he putting it? Is that the question? Why is he a lanky guy and he sits down and the food is five wraps of a bar? Wham, wham. Say, where did he put them? <laughs> is the stomach up? <laughs> or is he the old drunk stomach? <laughs> where is he putting it? Increase our faith. So if you consume more faith, you should consume more work. Otherwise, you would die. It will kill you. That spiritual overdose. So, when the faith is increased, the work is also what? Increased, and the result is also what? Increased. It's corresponding. They're on the same level. Lord, increase. That was their faith. That was their prayer. Can you just pray that? Somebody wants to move to the next level. God wants to give you the next level faith. It's the source of faith. Can you pray to God and say, see, fear, when the faith is increased, fear will go. A boldness will come over you. You begin to enter offices and be making demand. You walk to your guy, director, or guy, and I've stayed too long on this position. You need to do something. Because your faith has gone up. The boldness has come. And they will see it over you. You see, come on, man. We have to do something. Can you just pray and say, Lord, increase my faith. Faith to take it. Faith to take it. Faith to take it. To see yourself beyond the grasshopper. Joshua and Caleb had that faith. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. The ten saw themselves as grasshopper. Before their own prosperity, they compared themselves to grasshopper. I want you to pray today. Faith, oh God, increase my faith for the next level. You are the source of faith. My father, you have given to men a measure of faith. But today, Lord, I want an increase in faith in the name of Jesus. Faith for refreshing time. Can somebody pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Faith for wonder. Faith for grace. Faith for wonder. Faith for manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Faith for action. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, increase my faith. When the faith is increased, my work will increase. My work ethics will be improved. In the mighty name of Jesus, my results will be seen. That my result is more. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, increase my faith. Lord, increase my faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, increase my faith. You are the God of increase. It's the one that makes it to grow. Your faith can grow beyond one and can grow into two. It can grow into three. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, increase my faith today. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are the Lord of increase. Increase my faith today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It's the Lord of increase. The Lord of what? Increase. I, I approach God like that. You are the God of increase. You are the one that makes things to grow. You are the God of increase. As it can increase physically, it can increase spiritual matters. Faith is spiritual. It can cause it to grow. Is anyone lacking wisdom? We don't see wisdom. It can make it to grow. He said, ask. 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 
If you don't know, ask God. Increase my understanding. Increase this capacity. He's the one that makes it to grow. Daniel and his friends, they know this God that makes mental capacity to grow. It will take times better. It's not that those guys are not good. They are good though. But for these ones, there's a distinction. Why? If the God of increase is working in their brain. The way they were answering questions, even the professor said, wow, these guys, where are they from? You know, there's some, there's some answers you'll be marking. You know, you, you're going to switch you. You, know, you want to know the students. This is it. When you see, when you see professors and, and teachers, you know, liking students, it's not because some are not this sexual meaning. It's because that student is brilliant. Because that's right. Then you say, um, I'll go and meet you. You, will you. you all of you are in the same class. Go and meet him. He will teach you. Brilliance. And dear some students to their professors. Multidimensional appearance of reward. By spiritual engagement. Multidimensional appearance of reward. By the spiritual engagement of today. See. The way you will be manifesting God's glory. The way God will be manifesting his glory in your life. By the reason of today's workers meeting. is going to be multidimensional. In the mighty name of Jesus. Multidimensional. Multi-skillful. Like Bezali. Like Bezali. Like Bezali. God of increase. Multidimensional. One man. Carry grace for diversity. In expression. In perfection. And God made basically a reference. He said, Moses, this is the guy that I pour my spirit on. Multi-dimensional appearance of God's increase. When we begin to walk with him. And he will begin to teach us. God will begin to teach us his work ethics. That was why he told the disciples. It's not that they should follow him alone. They should begin to understand and study his work ethics. Understudy his work ethics. How he works. They didn't understand it. And John was teaching his disciples the work ethics. Until one day Peter said, ah, Master, go teach us too. This is part of the work now. Teach us how to pray. As John taught his disciples. See, you don't follow a master because the master is producing results. You follow a master to be like him. Copy him. And that's my prophet. What prophet? You too become the prophet. Become the prophet. What is his work ethics? Oh, my pastor, he has grace. There's oil a day, my pastor. Hey, he wants that oil to be on you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's your sense. Yes, sir. That's your sense. The least you can be in this church is me. Yes, I said it on Sunday. The least you can be is me. That's the least. I like Pastor. Like, no, Pastor wants to be more, he wants you to be 10 times better than him. Multi-dimensional appearance. God of increase. First Corinthians 9 11. If we sow spiritual blessings, is it too much to reap material things from you? The appearance of spiritual of spiritual seed. What did they sow? Spiritual. If you sow spiritual, you can read spiritual, you can read physical, you can read. So, sowing is work. Sowing is planting. I plant. I sow. Apollo's water. It's work. It's spiritual work. It generates results. When you pray, Father, I'm sick, heal me. Healing is physical. He heals you. Hallelujah. Let's begin to walk. The appearance of the evidence of our work is multidimensional. So let us start to this program. Praise the Lord. That was preamble, no vex. So let's start to this program. So today's main text, Romans 15.
This is a September to remember. Live by what you hear. Are you with me? Live by what you hear. Live by your engagement, spiritual engagement. Live by it. Live by your work. Live by what? What you hear. Live by your spiritual engagement. Live by your work. Nehemiah told God, he negotiated Nehemiah 13, 14. He said, bless me. <laughs> A lot of us don't have anything to ask God for. We don't have, I mean, the lawyers call it local standing. He said, remember me, oh my God, concerning this. What is it? He's now pointing to God. That this. Hmm? And wipe out not my good deeds that I've done for the house of my God. I've not done anything. You're asking God to bless you. God will ask you a question now. Huh? Okay, Michael, bring his fire. Let us check. This guy is praying that I was blessing. Then they open fire. Nothing. They will flog you come up from heaven. You're a thief. A lot of God's children are like that. In the church, you are warming seats. You are not engaged in the workforce. We say we need children teacher. We need usher. We need technical. We need. Then you now we now come for prayer conference. Say um, these kind of services that people like. Um, anointing service. The church will be full. Breakthrough service. There will be no space everywhere. You think it's like that? Anytime you organize breakthrough service, God will call for everybody's fire. It won't break through. You have not broken the banks of heaven for God to notice you. Like that woman. And you are saying, Father, I need a breakthrough. They will, the truth is that they will kick you out. A thief. He said, remember me for this. This. Say, God, see. And God said, ah, this guy is not true. The good deeds that I have done. Do something. Do something for the house of your God. You can negotiate a lot of things by the reason of the work you do in the church. That woman negotiated. He said, my husband served God faithfully. He died. He left death. Life is a continuum. And God visited her. And the death was cancelled. By the reason of what? Work. Even now it was work. She worked to cancel the death. You, you just stand there. Father, send me, send me a blesser. You will lean and lose weight. Eh? You can negotiate by the reason of the work you do in the house of God. You can negotiate. And the heavens will pay attention to you. You have a local standing to negotiate in the court of the heavens. You can't be denied. They say it's true. Negotiation. And the leaders of the Jew, they came to Jesus on behalf of a centurion. They said, this man loved our nation and he has built us a synagogue. Jesus is not Jew. So, they were negotiating based on what this guy has done. Are we together? What can you stand on to negotiate with God? We say, what can, even the work that you are doing is not what? Good. Why a lot of God's children are suffering and are hustling is because of this thing. He has built us what? A synagogue. He loves. He loves our nation. They were negotiating. Based. On what this guy has done. Guys work. As you work circularly. Work in the house of God. Because what you negotiate here. Affects there. So when you bless there. You bring it here again. You see it's revolving. It's revolving. It doesn't come from there. It comes from here. The blessing comes from here, 
not from there. You can negotiate on this altar. Anna was looking for, wasn't she married? She was married. But she was negotiating at the altar. Eh? She was negotiating at the altar. Every time she comes to Shiloh, negotiating. Because he's the God of increase, the source of everything. When you meet him here, you get your result there. That's how it works. Faith is not seen. Faith propels work to be done. So when you do the work and result comes, I say, this man is a man of faith. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Multi-dimensional appearance of the world by reason of spiritual engagement. Let's just engage. Let's all engage based on what we have done. We just come and pray blah blue speaking in tongues but there is no 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 substance for heavens to work with is it a, a journal kilo jishi now what has he done say never you yeah, never do anything but he's a prayer warrior because that, that, that we're not looking for warriors we are looking for for prayer workers not prayer warriors prayer what workers people that people that walk and pray people that watch and pray not warrior mm, we are looking for prayer workers. Prayer warrior. If by the amount of prayer Nigerians have rendered, Nigeria should be in El Dorado. But our work ethics and work does not match our prayer life. There's no balance. We can pray and see the work is low. Let's bring the work level up. Amen. Amen. Romans 15. 22 to 32. We'll soon be out of here. I hope you are blessed. Romans 22. Romans 15, I beg your pardon, please. 15, 22. Said. For which cause, we are going to 32, please. For which cause, also, I have been much hindered from coming to you. But now, having no more place in this part, and having a great desire this many years to come to you, whensoever I take my journey to Spain, I will come to you. For I trust to see you in my journey. And to be brought on my way thitherward by you. If first I be somewhat filled with your company. Hallelujah. But now I go unto Jerusalem to minister unto the saints. For it has pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia. To make a certain contribution for the poor saints. Which are at Jerusalem. Hey God do. It has pleased them verily. And their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual blessing. Ah, yeah, yeah. I want you to pray. You see, you don't understand. I must bless people. I must bless people. You see, this is the completeness of blessing. You see that that you are being blessed. Eh? I would just see people that have plenty and they are so stingy. They are not blessed. Are you with me? They are not what? Blessed. If you like, dust me with your rose boys. And I can't benefit from what the Lord has blessed you with. You are not blessed. You are not blessed. If you like, put jeep upon jeep, drive them, come to church, speak in tongues, roll on the floor, and the body of Christ does not get anything from you. You are not blessed. You are not blessed. The blessing is when what comes to you flows out of you. That's when you are blessed. That's when you are blessed. 
You are blessed when people pray for you and smile and say, Father, thank God for Yemi. Father, thank God for Linda. That means you are blessed. That's when you are blessed. When people begin to put you in prayer of thanksgiving, that's when you are blessed. Are you with me? Are you with me, Valeti? That's when you are blessed too. When people kneel down and talk to God and they see you, and they begin to see what God has done through you in their life. And begin to thank God for you. And say, Father, thank God for fallity. Lord, thank, thank you for him. That's when you are blessed. It has pleased them verily. And the adeptors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things... Their duty is also to minister unto them in kind of things. <sighs> I tell you. You don't work for everything. Hallelujah. You don't work for everything. You don't. You don't work for everything. Men should be able to look at you and give you a car. When a child of God is working for everything, there's a problem, man. There's a problem. There is a problem. When a child of God works for everything, there's a problem. It shows that that child of God does not have understanding of blessings. You can have it all. By your effort, you are not blessed. When the spoon, now you buy him. The car, now you buy him. The book, now you buy him. The food, now you buy him. This, now you buy him. Oh no, you are not blessed. It has pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual blessings, their duty. Their duty. The Jerusalem brethren were poor, but they ministered the gospel to the brethren at Macedonia and Achaia. And those guys' faith increased and they received the blessing, they received the good tidings, they received the good news, and everything that the good news has. And the church in Macedonia and Achaia, they became blessed and they realized that Achaia, man, is the church of Z Jerusalem that is the source of our blessing. And the Bible said they became debtors. A lot of Christians have forgotten the source of their blessing. God used this man to bless you. God used this man to bless you. You forgot him. You forgot when he came to you, when you were nothing. And he prayed for you. Now you became something. And you look at the man. The small man of God. You forgot he prayed for you. You forgot when you were saying, Pastor, join us in faith. You forgot. You forgot. You forgot when we were looking for the fruit of the womb. That it was this man. Now the fruit of the womb came. He became a tree of the womb. And they said, that man is a small man. You don't get oil. Abby? He said, they, they saw themselves as what? Debtors. That if the Gentiles, Jerusalem church, they were Gentiles. If they could partake of the spiritual, um, the Macedonian church rather, if they could partake of the spiritual things that the Jerusalem church sowed into their lives, it is a necessity. It is a duty. They must package something for the Jerusalem church. That they owe them. That they owe them. You know, I, 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 I don't know, maybe one day I was just talking with Tokoy. I said, how many people have been blessed here? And they just go. And they just think, Pastor Yems is nothing. You understand? I don't know. Where we have that discussion, I don't know. Where. 
and it wants to pain me. But I said, no, that is who they are. That's who they are. They should go. You need to pray for some people to live your life. I prayed it. I prayed it. Father, take these people out. But these guys, they say no. Even though we are not in Jerusalem, we know the source. We know the source. We know where that money came from. We know that where that blessing came from. And we, we are now indebted. We must raise something for the Jerusalem church. It is a duty. They did not give them spiritual things back. They gave them what? Hannah things. So what they did was that, man, this church need them. Um, this church need AC. So they give them five AC. This church need keyboard. Hmm? Uh -huh. This church needs ear monitors. They gave them ear monitor. This church needs this thing. They said this church need money. They send money to the church. When a child of God works with everything, we got a problem. It shows that you are not sowing too. You are not working, man. You are not working. So when you work in the lives of others, see, don't worry. If those guys don't bless you, God will bring another source of blessing. Oh man, God will bring another source of blessing. Because he's seen your work. He's seen how you are loving the brethren. He's seen how you are loving the church. He's seen how you are loving the people. So if these guys that have been loved don't understand what love is, they can go. God will now bring another source of blessing that will begin to bless the church. If you go, remember also. Hey, 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 hey. Brother, if you we'll call you back in the name of Jesus. You will just wake up and say, I want to go back tonight. Say, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Now let me call you back. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Next verse. When therefore I have performed this, hallelujah. And I have sealed them. So what Paul is saying is this. He said, I'm going to pass through. Macedonia, Achaia, I'm coming to have a nice time with you. I want us to pray. Every time we gather, Father, may it be nice. That every moment we gather as a church, may it be a moment of refreshing. Can we just pray, Lord, going forward from this, this from this month of December, from this month of September, this is this is an ember month that it's the beginning of a different shift in our lives as a people and as a church. He said, I'm going to, we are going to have fresh time. We are going to have nice time together. I want you to pray, Father, every time we meet in the King's Court, in the mighty name of Jesus, make it a refreshing time. This is the topic, this is the theme of our meeting this morning. Make it a refreshing time from the minute start to the people, everybody that comes, oh God, we are coming to share grace. We are coming to share love. We are coming to share fellowship. Lord, make it a refreshing time in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make it a refreshing time in this month of September. Can you pray? Every time we gather, every time we talk to one another in the King's Court and the King's Court area, even in Pastor Fortune's church, in the King's Court area, in Youth Province 11, from throne room to SOP, Lord God, make it a refreshing time. I want you to pray for our province. Pray for our provincial pastor. Pray for all the churches in this province. Father, make it a refreshing time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, make it a refreshing time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every time we gather, every time we meet, my Father, it shall be for no sorrow, but for improvement. Oh God, for spiritual blessing. Oh, make it a refreshing time. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. He said, and when I have performed this and sealed and, and I've sealed to them this fruit, I will come to you in Spain. So what Paul, what Paul was saying is that, see, I, I'm going to give them hmm, the gift that you guys have packaged. So when I give it to them, then I will now come to you guys in Spain. Go next verse. We are going to 32. And I'm sure that ha. Huh, he said, I am what? Sure. See, this September is the beginning of, of visible empirical evidence that 
people we know that we met God is by assurance. He said, I am sure we are going to be having men of God visiting us and we are sure this September marks a shift spiritual and body of all interactions on this altar he said I am sure that when I come to you how's it gonna come how's it gonna come how's it gonna come how's it gonna come hey for every ministration on this altar I want you to pray in the mighty name of Jesus going forward from this month of September can you join me to pray for every ministration on this altar there shall be an expression of the fullness of the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ can you begin to join me to pray in the mighty name of Jesus in the month of September let there be an expression of the fullness every man that will minister every woman that will minister upon this altar Malekito Lo bragato salia, makunda le abo zente keto, rigato sagate la boshe. Can somebody join me to pray? Makuta le abo sa. There shall be a fullness of the expression of the gospel, of the blessings of the gospel of Jesus Christ upon this altar to our children, to our men, to our women, to our spiritual life, to our businesses. There shall be an expression in the mighty name of Jesus. Malika tale zoke. Can somebody join me to? pray coming forward from this month of september can somebody join me to pray there will be an expression of the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of christ in the mighty name of jesus for every man that ministers upon this altar for every woman that ministers upon this altar join me to pray we have 16 minutes to go in the mighty name of jesus if you can pray in the spirit pray in the spirit if you can pray in understanding pray in understanding my son get telegraph so take my god only rasga to valenta sa ma kutele broken daria bosa lisa kotalia dosi in the mighty name of jesus father upon the altar of the king's court and the king's court area upon the altar of yp 11 upon the altar of throne room upon the altar of song of or sanctuary of praise upon the altar of glow room power upon the altar of glow room glory in the mighty name of jesus let there be an expression of the fullness of blessing of the gospel of Christ can somebody join me to pray there shall be a fullness of the expression of the blessings of the gospel of Jesus Christ in all the churches of redeemed Christian church of God in all the altars in the churches of the body of Christ from the month of September. Le graka sankata. Le se can somebody join me to pray. Mas kole re doska. Le se teke bosana. There shall be an expression of the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Jesus Christ upon the altar of redeemed Christian Church of God. Anywhere men pray in the body of Christ. In the body of Christ. In la krosangata. There will be an expression of the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm sure. I am sure. I am sure for every man that comes to minister on this altar. I am sure. For every woman that comes to minister upon this altar here. I am sure unless this is fake no man will mount this altar empty no woman no child will mount this altar empty there will be the fullness of expression of grace there will be fullness of the expression of blessing in the mighty name of jesus why is that i am sure I'm sure this month of September whatever it takes you going forward to come to negotiate here please do this is
is a guarantee that lives will be transformed starting with me it flows like this I shall come in the fullness in the fullness sinners will be saved it's part of the blessings <laughs> it's part of the blessings he said I'm coming in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of Jesus Christ I love that. You see, come on, man. My, my walking step will change. I will begin to walk by what I know. I will begin to live by what I hear. I will begin to live by these prophecies. I'm not proud, man. I'm just living by knowledge. I'm living by what I'm going to receive. My expectations are high. I'm, I'm, I'm on the high. What is coming in September going forward? I mean, come on, man. We started with the God of increase. I am, I am high. I'm high. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am. I'm not on colors, but I'm high. What is coming is in the fullness. I'm high. I'm high. So I set myself. We have prayed for destiny crossing, for path crossing. So I'm high. I've gone to borrow. I've gone to borrow vessels. That every minister that comes, I'll be feeling, I'll be feeling, I'll be feeling because this is a trading place, this is a negotiating place. I'm high. Fullness. He said, I shall come. If your juju is sure, you go use and knock your head. You go take and swear. That's what Paul did. He was sure that there's something about the gospel. He was sure there's something in the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's something in the good news. There's power in good news. There's power in the good news. Aye. Paul was sure. He take a knack head. He said, I'm coming in the fullness. The good news is so simple. But yet so powerful. So simple. But full of blessings. You know why we don't benefit from the gospel? You know why? We, we don't struggle. You know, when it is not hard, it's not appreciated. It came cheap. Somebody died for you. The death that is supposed to die. Somebody died, they die. So now he gave you blessing. I beg, let's go and work for it. Then you now begin to look for contact. Do you know somebody in the ministry of humanitarian? Do you know somebody in the ministry of power? Receive those good news. Receive it. <laughs> Receive it. It will bless you. Paul said, I am not coming to you in the multitude of speech. I'm not coming to you in the eloquence of speech. We are not coming to speak. I want to get a man, a man, a sir. You understand? I'm not coming to you in the elo No, 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 no. I'm not coming to you in some. I'm coming to you in the demonstration of the power of God. Gospel. The gospel. The gospel. It's simple. Anybody that ministers this month will minister in the simplicity of the gospel. But the manifestation will be in the fullness of the blessing. Simple. Simple. The gospel is not hard. 
said, my preaching and my words was not an enticing word. When, when we begin to do long talk, you understand what I'm saying? With the prep arm, we go into the theology of the eschatology of the word of God for manitology. Now lie! They are trying to put something together. They are trying to put something together. It's not, it's not, it's not a word, an enticing word of man's wisdom. When, when they put something together for the brethren. No! But in the demonstration of the spirit and of what? Power. I am sure. I am sure when I come to you, I am coming in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's how I come. I'm not coming empty. So it is now left for us, brethren, to, to be set. You understand what I'm saying? If you just should, just cut your own. Okay, now. This month, no dolly, no. <laughs> I'm high, man. No dolly. When your word comes, do what? Take it. Joseph was in fetters until his word came. And the king sent for him. Until his word. The Bible said his word did what? Came. When his word came, what did he do? He, come on, this beard. beard. Not this way, not the carry. No, no, I should appear before king. The Bible said he shaved his beard. The guy, the package himself, and showed before Pharaoh. Do you understand? And Pharaoh said, they say you are the one where they carry um, that interview. He said, it's not me, oh, but God will give you a self peace. I mean, that's when you are blessed. You understand what I'm saying? They will find you. They will look for you. Uh, Mr. Shegu, can you, can you do this for us? Dr. Kwe, can you, can you just put this thing together for us? His word came. Your word will come. Your word will come. This month of September going forward, I am high. Are we together? I am high. Remember, I'm not on Kulusu. <laughs> because every man in the mighty name of Jesus that will mount this altar is coming in the fullness. Not half measure. Yeah. Are you with me? Not half measure. You see, half measure is a killer. It brings arguments. The eye will no blind finish. They bring confusion. Do you understand what I'm saying? When the eye no blind finish, because when the eye is like this, I see blue. Meanwhile, it's purple. The problem is that you no know, blind finish. But if you blind finish, no go see anything. And if you open finish, you will see everything. Are we together? So Paul is saying, I'm not coming for cause. You see, <laughs> when the Lord visits you, there will be no argument. Yes, Our Father in the Lord was ministering yesterday. And he said something. He said, for a child of God that steps into the ring, he must fight to finish. Do you know why? So that...
Who is with me? I want to speak Yoruba. In September, Iriakari. <laughs> In September, Iriakari. In September, Iriakari. Do you know why? It's coming in the fullness. So, Amara, you go fetch your own. You know, fit, fetch, finish. If you go fetch your own, you know, go fit, fetch, finish. Because it is in the world, fullness. You know, when it's not enough, that's when you begin to cut egg into four. Hello? Hello? When it's not enough, hmm? You now cut egg into what? Four. They say, hey, uh, let us, let us. You see all those egg slicer? No, it's not, it's, it's not enough. Hey, let's slice it. So we now have slice of egg and or slice of bread. <laughs> In September, Iriakari. Segu ko collect. The tomato will collect. Amen. Linda, you are not collecting Oto Oto. You are collecting blessing. Amen. You know there is Oto. That is what we are expecting. It should be high. If you are watching us online, congratulations. Iretikari, blessings have gone round. Amen. Ah, Iretikari, congratulations. That is what we are getting in the month of September. Going forward. Are you with me? Jesus Christ, same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the Lord. So, if Paul has this assurance of the fullness of Christ's blessing. I want to read another version. He said, I'm sure that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of Christ's blessing. See this church, this September, not for me, but for everyone. Even the child we get we we the inside belly will be blessed. Amen. Every conception from this month of this uh, September, whatever you conceive, you will deliver it. Whatever you conceive, you will bath it in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you desire, you conceive it, you will bath it in the name of Jesus. So even our conception will be blessed. It's the fullness of the blessing. Are you with me? That's Christ. 
Jesus was not aborted in the womb. It's part of the blessing. So whatever you conceive over your life, whatever you conceive over your ministry, whatever you conceive over your blessing, whatever you conceive over your finance, whatever you conceive over your home, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will birth it. There's no abortion. There's no abortion. Going forward, there's no abortion. You conceive it, you birth it. It's part of the blessings of Jesus Christ. He was conceived of the Holy Ghost. Anything conceived of the Holy Ghost, there's no abortion. It's part of the blessing. Fullness. Brethren, I, I, I don't want the enemy to shortchange us. Live in this understanding. Live in this understanding. And you will marvel how the Lord is going to transform our lives. Amen. Verse 30. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake, and for the love of the Spirit, that ye strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. And that is why we shouldn't take prayer meetings, prayer requests for light. This is somebody that is coming in the fullness of the blessing of Jesus Christ but it still requires us to do what? Pray. And that's going to be our last prayer. Two prayer points actually. We are going to pray for God's presence and we are going to pray for divine loading and enablement for everyone that will minister. Next verse, we are going to 32. That I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea, and that my service which I have for Jerusalem may be accepted of the saints. Last verse, that I may come unto you with joy and by the will of God, eh? and may with you be what? Refreshed corporate refreshment everybody that comes to minister here eh? listen to me they will not go empty handed I'm telling you about the completeness of blessing that's how we started, do you understand? when you bless you should be what? blessed that's the completeness of blessing, so Paul was looking at the church pain, the the, the, the the Spain of church, the church of Spain. Eh? He was looking at the church of Spain as a church to be blessed and a church to bless. Do you understand? That I may come to you with what? You know, it gets some people away. Hallelujah. You will not disappoint people. You will not be a source of disappointment. He said, say that one, forget. They will not write you off in Jesus' name. He said, if you go, if you shake them, you will not go here anything. Every time now, bring, 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 bring. That, that guy complain fully like he complained, die. He said, I will come to you with what? Joy. So when you send invite to some people, they say, Ah, now that church. Hey, even if they have appointment with another church, they will cancel it. He said, that church, then they give me joy. Then they give me joy. Then they give me joy. Because after the water, we too can't do what? Water then. This month will be a source of blessing. That's what I'm saying. And you can't be blessed if you are not working. If God does not see something in your life to bless. See, men are going to come here, even within and without, this month in the mighty name of Jesus, and we will water them. See, because I'm already high. Because they are coming in the fullness. How can they come in the fullness and we will not overload them? So that that fullness can go to another church. They shouldn't come here and be drained. Then they will not go to Cuba to be, to be, to be refilling. No! When they come, we have fired them back. Much more than they came. When they go to another place. 
you understand what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Father, make me a source of blessing. I don't know how you are going to do it, but I want to bless me. It's, I'm tired of receiving. I'm tired of, I'm tired of holding the short end of the stick. I'm tired. I'm tired. That's our last prayer. That's our last prayer. As a worker in the king's court, Father, bless the work I have done. Even if I have done it badly, I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent of all the shabbiness of how I've handled my work. I repent. I repent. Lord, I repent. Have mercy. Forgive me. Because I want to be a source of blessing. You will not bless what is shabby. You will not bless what is not good. I repent, Lord. I repent. I don't want to be at the short end of the stick going forward. Lord, mercy me and bless the little that I've done in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make me a source of blessing to the brethren. Make me a source of blessing to those that water me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody pray? In the name of Jesus. We are rounding up now. Make me a source of blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. In Jesus name. We have prayed. We are going to pray for God's presence. That the presence of God will not be absent. The presence of God is glorious. In thy presence is fullness of joy. Psalm 16, 11. In thy presence is what? Fullness of joy. And at the right hand, pleasures forevermore. Father, fellowship with us. Can we just pray? Father, visit us. Every time we gather, Lord, in the King's Court, in YP 11, Youth Province 11, all the churches under Pastor T, every time we gather, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your presence come. In the redeemed Christian Church of God and every other altar that your name is being called, if it is CAC, anywhere, the Apostolic God's Assembly, in the mighty name of Jesus, Anglican Methodist, Father, let your presence be felt in all the churches, Lord, in the name of Jesus, going forward from this morning of September. Lord, fellowship with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Invite the presence of the Holy Spirit in the month of September going forward. Invite the, the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can we give God praise today and just thank Him? I'm, I'm highly expectant. I'm highly expectant. I'm highly expectant. Give God praise. I'm highly expectant. Every visitation will be powerful. Amen. So don't forget, Pastor T is confirmed. I was with him yesterday. He said he's coming. Pastor K is confirmed. He said he's coming. By the grace of God and his mercy, we will confirm Pastor Victor tomorrow. So the prayer conference for this month is going to be huge. It's not huge, Joe. It's not huge. It's going to be what? Huge. Huge. Our necks will break. These men are coming in what? In the fullness. Living at the gates of prophecy. These men are coming in the fullness of Christ's blessings. Don't joke. Oh. Watch us online. We'll go blue there, man. Fullness. You shouldn't go there and be like other Nigerians that came. There's a problem. <laughs> Even Peter, when he was running from Jesus, when he jackpot. When Peter jackpot and he was beginning to catch fire, they said, This guy, you don't look like us, though. You realize if you don't live with Jesus, if they don't say that about you, your jackpot, something is wrong. You can't enter into that system and just enter and just and the system swallows you. So, I mean, ah, that guy that's in your area, you know they talk, that guy that's in your area, that guy's coming different. That oh yeah, must flow.
don't miss the prayer conference. Live by what you know. Live in this assurance. Live in this ethics. September is an ember month that will be shaping our lives and destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give God praise and thank him for how he has helped us to pray. Thank him. Bless his name. How he has helped us to pray. How he has. Can you just bless the name of the Lord? See, your, your blessing is complete today. You are not only going to be blessed. You now become a source of blessing. That's what Paul is saying today. That is the fullness of God's blessing. That's the fullness of Christ's blessing. That yes, I am blessed. Yes, I receive and I give. That's it. Can you give God praise and bless Him for refreshing time has come again. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for this month of September. Thank you. I mean, a lot of you be completing projects. A lot of you be starting projects. Like that woman that did something she has never done before. She has never sold anything before. That oil that she was about to eat and die became the source of a mega business. A lot of you will be going to deeper waters in this month of September going forward. Can you give God praise in the mighty name of Jesus? That yes, Lord, we are going deeper. Lord, we are going deeper. Be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have given praise, thanks, and worship. Father, Lord, we thank you. And we receive this month and every other month going forward with thanksgiving. Amen. That on this altar, there will be an expression of the fullness of your blessings in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Can we share the grace of fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful month and a wonderful year. Amen.